The Nintendo Switch is a wild success and continues to break sales records as it becomes one of the best selling consoles of all time. The console also has a number of exclusives that ensure it is one of the best places to play video games. The Nintendo Switch is also my first home Nintendo console since the SNES which obviously leads me to have a huge gap between a number of franchises. However, the recent Nintendo Direct convinced me to finally jump back and purchase a Nintendo Wii U. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and comment on the video. Every little bit counts. As a new Zelda fan, I was excited when there were rumors swirling that we will get a Zelda anniversary collection with games like Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, Ocarina of Time and maybe Majora's Mask all in one package. However, the recent Direct only revealed The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, a divisive Zelda game, for a HD remaster. This still sounded exciting until it was revealed that the game was being sold for a full 60 USD price. This made me think about all the other ports we got on the Nintendo Switch. Taking Breath of the Wild out of the equation, even though that was a Wii U title, we had a number of games like Pikmin 3, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, the Bayonetta series, Xenoblade Chronicles, and more. This is great as it gave gamers like myself that didn't get a Wii U a chance to try them all out. However, they were all priced at 60 USD each. It can be argued that a few games like Super Mario 3D World that has additional content justify that price. I love Mario Kart and completely agree with that price point for that game which has given me countless hours of fun. But for the other games, it can be argued that even if they are HD remasters, they don't justify such a high price point. At the same time, these games on the Wii U were cheaper when they first released. The Nintendo Wii U is the forgotten console from Nintendo's arsenal. Due to a bit of bad marketing, the console sold basically next to nothing and Nintendo was quick to release the Switch and tried their best to shove the Wii U under the rug. Many people, including myself, did not know about one of the key features that we still and probably will never have on the Nintendo Switch and that is the eShop. The Wii U eShop has games from NES, SNES, the DS, all the way to the Nintendo Wii. The Wii U at the moment is the only place to play all the mainline 3D Zelda games. And the current reveal of Skyward Sword HD only makes it more obvious that Nintendo has no plans to release a virtual console on the Nintendo Switch. There have been many rumors that we will be getting the Metroid Prime Trilogy on the Switch. We can also be sure that it will be a full $60 game. Currently, the Wii version is available on the Wii U for $20. Skyward Sword HD will be coming out in June. The Wii version of that game is also available for $20. This is just the tip of the iceberg. This led me to scouring local video game stores to see if I could find a reasonably priced Wii U. I was also able to pick up the Motion Plus Wii controller and I am essentially set to experience all these amazing Nintendo titles from the past. Currently I am playing through Ocarina of Time for the first time. After getting a PS4 day one, the Switch day one, and then the PS5 day one, you get this feeling of excitement once you get your console, set it up, and start playing these games on your shiny new system. Once I brought the Nintendo Wii U home, I felt exactly the same way. Setup was extremely easy, and I jumped in to play a Nintendo 64 game immediately. The game I was playing before this was Final Fantasy VII Remake on my PS5, and yet I continued to want to jump back in and continue playing a Ocarina of Time. Now there is no guarantee that the Wii U eShop will be active until the end of the Switch lifecycle. It's also possible it might be open all the way until the Switch 2. Check your local region online to ensure that the eShop is available. I would also recommend trying to find a Wii U that is reasonably priced. If the Wii U in any way reaches near or exceeds the price of a current gen console, it's not worth your time. The Wii U is great, but it's important to look at it as a console that allows you to play a number of older titles, and titles that will most likely be ported to the Nintendo Switch. I finally bought the Wii U, and I'm extremely happy with my purchase. Do you have a Wii U, and are you still enjoying your console, or are you planning to purchase one this year? Let me know in the comments down below.